Donna, thanks for joining us. Obviously, you've arrived in Perth, uh, I think, last month. How have you, have you settled into WA? Yeah, settled in really well. Um, obviously, it's a good group here, uh, great coaching staff, and a lovely place to live with the weather. So, um, settled in really well, living with a couple of the boys, and, um, you know, the training's been unreal as well. So, yeah, settled in quite nicely. I know you're keen on your golf and your surfing, so have you picked out a, a local fave for each of those already? Uh, I only played golf once at Wembley uh, with a couple of the boys, so I'm not sure if that's the local yet, but uh, it's a very nice course out there. Um, and I brought my board over. Um, we live 10 minutes from Trigg, so I believe that's a bit of a surfing beach, so um, not too many waves at the moment, but yeah, a bit of fun out there as well. Now you mentioned you're living with Jez and, uh, and Will. I think it's, I understand it's your first time out of home from, from your parents. You're living with them in Sydney, so how's that going so far? Yeah, like you said, first time out of home, uh, so it's a new experience, but really enjoying it. Um, we've got a nice house with the two boys, and um, they've, both, they've both lived out of home before, so you know, they're, they're kind of showing me the traps a bit, but yeah, really enjoying it, something different, new experience, and um, yeah, it's a bit of fun as well with the boys. I've got to ask, who's the best in the kitchen? Who makes the best, best dinner? Well, actually, at the moment, we're all cooking together, um, which is nice. We play cards to see who cleans up, but at the moment, we all cook together. Um, but yeah, I reckon I, I think I've got the cake so far. So it's been good. What's the what's the signature dish so far? Uh, probably last night's actually a nice little beef stir fry. Yeah, it was unreal. And I should also ask who's the messiest because the domestic stuff's important. Who's the messiest around the house? Before coming here, I probably would have said said Jezza, um, but probably have to say Will now. Um, he's just always leaving stuff around the house. Says he'll do it the next day, but Jezza and I always end up doing it. So probably Will. Now on to, on to serious matters, I should ask you about the move, obviously you're born and bred from Sydney so it's a big move out to WA, 24 year old, tell us about the reasons why you've come out to the force. Yeah, big move, you know, um, been in Sydney my whole life, um, like I said before, lived at home my whole life, bit of a family man as well, so it's a big move, um, I knew it was going to be a challenge but um, it was the right time for me, you know, a few good chats with Chrono um, and I've known him a little bit in the past and you know, everyone knows what, what kind of coach he is. He's, he's an unreal coach and he's got a good coaching group here um, and he's building a really good squad. Um, so I just thought, you know, it was going to be a good challenge of moving out of home, um, you know, trying something new, new group of boys, new coaches. And you saw the way the force played last year. They were, they were really um, moving in the right direction. So, um, yeah, it's a, like I said, it's a new challenge for me and I'm really excited to, to put my best foot forward and, yeah, hopefully start and um, hopefully have a great season with the boys. Spoke about this off air, the, the fact of moving out of your comfort zone as well, trying trying a totally different kind of challenge of getting out of home. How's that going? How are you feeling about that? Yeah, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Um, like I said, I've lived at home my whole life. Um, I think it was probably about the right time to get out of home. My dad was trying to get me out, so. Um, but no, I've been really enjoying it, you know. Just a new experience, living with a couple couple boys. Um, you know, a bit more responsibility on yourself, so. You know, I'm growing as a person. You know, you come here to grow as a rugby player, but I feel like I'm growing as a person pretty quickly as well, which is awesome. Now it's that time of year when you start talking about goals and resolutions. You've obviously had a great couple of years uh, becoming a Wallaby starter and playing at the World Cup. So have you, have you set any goals for 2024? Yeah, definitely. Um, just to be the starting number 10 here at the Force. Obviously, there's a lot of great competition, you know, with, with Bizarre, with Rajan, um, Campbell. There's a, a lot of boys here who are pushing for a, for a spot, which is awesome. Um, and I know that's not an easy spot to get, so that's the main, the first main goal, just to get that starting spot. Just jumping away from that, I just brought up the World Cup. I should ask about the World Cup. You, you obviously, um, the Wallabies didn't get through the group phase at Hopes, but you, you had a pretty good tournament yourself, player of the match against Georgia. What were your reflections on that? Yeah, it's obviously a disappointing uh, tournament as a whole. Um, you know, personally, I thought you know I was pretty happy with my performances, as you know, as happy as you can be when you're when you're winning and losing, but. Um, you know, I took so many, you know, learnings and experiences out of that as you would. It's a World Cup, you know, it was an awesome experience. It was a massive buzz, you got your family there, you got half the world there watching. Um, and I think, you know, even though we didn't make it out of the pool stages, like I said, you take a lot of learnings from that as a young, young player, especially when you're playing 10. Um, and yeah, just plenty of learnings that I can bring back hopefully to the force and help a few boys out here. Um, but nonetheless, I love the experience and it was a, a competition I'll, I'll probably remember forever. Good stuff, Dono. Thanks for your time and uh, no great to catch up. Thank you very much.